Hello and welcome to Friday's bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where we're going to be attempting to do just that and crack the Times Cryptic crossword today. Now, the snitch rating, which is the unofficial rating of difficulty for the Times, suggests that today's puzzle is slightly easier than usual, which is unusual for a Friday. Um, but that that's... Um, that's what it suggests so we shall see whether that turns out to be true i've got a couple of announcements to do today actually i'm going to start off um with an announcement that sebastian has asked us to make it's a birthday announcement and sebastian has asked us to shout out the birthday of um well us <laughs> this is the this is the one year anniversary of doing these master classes which is quite incredible um and sebastian wrote us a very kind email and thanked us for fighting the dreaded algorithm by trying to make um well trying to make youtube understand that cryptic crosswords are really other they are cool aren't they i mean they're basically cool um so anyway thanks to sebastian and thanks to all of you who watch these um these friday Friday videos. It's a video I really look forward to making every week. It, crosswords make my brain think differently to Sudoku, um, and I enjoy I enjoy the change. Um, and also, I'm going to give a shout out to Mike, who's also known as John Appleseed, uh, who is a US watcher of the, the cryptic crossword videos. And um, this week, he solved his first cryptic crossword without hints as a result of watching these videos. Isn't that brilliant? So well done to John Appleseed. Many congratulations. Um, and with that, with that good news, let's kick straight into the puzzle. It's the cryptic we're looking for, isn't it? Not the concise. So let's get cracking. Now the internet's slow today. I don't know whether it's my internet or whether it's the Times. Uh, let's see, look at this. This is taking an age. It says waiting for the time. Oh, no, it's popped up. Oh, good. Okay, so one across. Uh, calamitous experience carrying disease endlessly spread. Ooh. I think this is going to mean spread. I'm thinking, I'm thinking margarine, actually, mainly because it's nine letters. Um, and yeah, I mean, the other thing I, I thought when I saw disease in the clue, I normally think of BSE because remember for these cryptic crosswords it's important to have a whole bank of short synonyms. Disease could be flu I suppose as well, that would be another short synonym. Um, a calamitous experience. So I think we're looking for a calamitous experience carrying, so surrounding a shortened word for a disease. And the whole thing means spread. And I'm, I'm sort of trying to think about the middle letters of margarine and extending them slightly. And I, I'm not getting anything there. Spread Elong? No, an elongate's not the right number of letters. Um, don't know. Let's try one down. Explorer. Dora. Uh, from Crown Dependency, keeping a set line. Hmm. I don't know. I think it's going to. I think it's going to be the name of a of an explorer, and there are a lot of those. And then we're going to need a crown dependency, keeping so probably surrounding a set. I'm not sure what set. A set could be Jer. Oh, Magellan. I, I, the only reason I got that was I thought of set. Could be, if something's if jelly sets, um, it gels. G E L. Um, so I'm thinking now that this must be, oh, so crown dependency is just the Isle of Man, is it? Yeah, okay, so it's man for the crown dependency surrounding A gel, A set, and then L for line. L is a valid abbreviation of line, so it's a bit surprising, isn't it? But remember, any, any, um, any abbreviation that we try to assert, we can use in a cryptic clue. It has to be supported by the dictionary. So we have to look under L here in the dictionary and we need to find evidence for the fact that L can be abbreviated to line. And there it is. I don't know if you can see there. And that is why it is legitimate for line in the clue to be replaced by L in the answer. Right, let's go back here then. Oh, margarine. Could, let's put margarine in. Is margarine right? Have I spelt margarine wrong? Margarine is one of those words. I always wonder whether it's an A or an E there. Um, calamitous experience. A mare, a nightmare. Carrying disease endlessly. 
can't go. Ah, I don't know. I'm slight, I'm a bit nervous. That is margarine, uh, but at least I've got a checking letter where I can't spell it. Nine across. Harry brought back jam. Mike's left in pot. Whew, there's a lot going on there. Mike's left in pot. There's a, there's a, this is one of those weird clues where there just seems to be too much fodder in the clue. You know, there's, there's the word Harry. I mean, that could be a lot of things. It can obviously be a verb to Harry. Brought back jam. So it seems like we need some synonym for jam. Mike is probably M from the international radio code word. But it might not be. And then left in pot could be L in a word for pot. But all of this has to be done in five letters. Has to begin with G. Harry. Oh, I don't know. That's annoying. 11 across. One's in large part agile. Listen. That's right, isn't it? Okay, well, that's just fortunate. I, I mean, I know the word listen, uh, which is this word, as meaning agile or lithe. Um, and so the moment I see agile, I think of seven letter words that I know that might mean that. And then and then it's a case of backing in. So how, how does the wordplay support the fact that this is the answer? Well, here we've got L, um, which is an abbreviation for large as well as line. Um, and then we've got ones are in L and part is sum, S-O-M-E. So L sum. So think of the clues mathematically. We've got L and sum for large part and one is inside them. So sort of ones, sorry, is inside it. So that's that's I apostrophe S. One, or this is the I is the Roman numeral for, for, for the number one. Um, uh, it also means single, doesn't it? I, one, one could prefer, one does this, could mean I do this. Um, so I apostrophe S and then L sum around the edge. And let's try two down. This might begin with R. Was governor, was governor of ruled? No, that can't be ruled because S, the list sum is right. Um, of prairie state, maybe, producing orders. Orders. I mean, orders are rules, but I don't understand what the clue was governor of. I mean, that suggests to me a word like led. If you if you led a led a country, you would be the governor of the country. So, I was thinking of led as the start of this, but prairie state. Um, that might be beyond my my U.S. ken to know that. Or maybe producing orders. Not sure yet. I think I'll get that, hopefully. <laughs> 13 across. Uh, Bill, about to receive care after a fever. Strong tissue found. Achilles tendon? Uh, well, I quite like that. Because care, could, if you care for somebody, you tend, don't you? I mean, strong tissue, Achilles tendon. It's not, yeah, it's not the, it's not the, the tightest definition that one would immediately think. Ah, oh, strong tissue. Yes, that's the Achilles tendon. Um, but it could be right. Bill could be accounts, couldn't it? AC about if something's about something. It's on it. To receive care, tend, after a fever, chill. Oh, oh, no, no, I'm wrong. Okay, so, bill about. Oh, no, I'm totally wrong. Right, well, I mean, AC could have mean, could, could mean bill, but it doesn't in this case. Bill is referring to a beak or a nose. And what this is, is a, re a reversal of the word nose, receiving care, which if you care for somebody, you tend to them. And that gives you the end of this, E-S-T-E-N-D-O-N. And that all goes after a fever, a chill, to give the Achilles tendon. That's, that's quite that's tricky, isn't it? Um, 14 down. 
commotion hubbub uh bringing duchy near to ruin okay um well the word ruin here is is making me think of an anagram remember in these clues just because you find a string of letters that add up to the clue length doesn't mean it's necessarily an anagram. There has to be a word or phrase in the clue telling you to anagram something. And if you ruin a string of letters, you, you sort of destroy them, you destroy their order. So duchy near here, I think, is going to be the anagram fodder. So we need to, um, we, we need to meddle with this, with these letters and come up with something that means commotion. It's going to be hue and cry, isn't it? I think. So, a hue and cry. Let's, um, in fact, let's, there's a couple of words we could look up here, aren't there already? Let's do that. Let's look up listen. You see, it is a bit of a crossword word. I mean, I don't think I've ever heard anybody use it in actual speech ever. Um, so, listen's there. Let's now look up hue and cry. There we go. A hue and cry, an outcry calling upon all to pursue someone. Who is to be made prisoner? That's a historical meaning. Um, a loud clamour about something. So that's going to be right. Now we could risk 17 across. At least it's not um, 14 letters in terms of a, a one word 14 letters. It is broken up. So theatre work could be looking for the name of a play. Not, however, by one who's gone through Yale. Hmm. As obviously, the clue surface is trying to make us think about Yale, the university in America. Um, I'm thinking that cryptically, Yale might be referring to a keyhole. It's keyhole surgery. <laughs> that was that was um, that was funny. <laughs> keyhole surgery. Okay, so I got that because I was, well, I mean, it was weird because I was thinking about Yale as being a key and then I said the word hole because it is a keyhole and then I realised that actually theatrical work was not a play at all. It was an operation. Um, now, uh, so I, yeah, I, I think I think what this is, is basically the whole thing is a cryptic definition. It's it's trying to make us think, and as indeed I did as I read the clue, about a work that you would see at a theatre, like a play or an opera or something. But actually, um, it's it, it, the word Yale has to be used in a different meaning. So we're not going to find anything more, you know, we're not going to find an anagram here the anagrams to keyhole surgery. We just have to read the whole clue as a cryptic definition. And that's how that's going to work. So let's try three down, which has got strange ending, it feels like. Um, governess holding a ring for ideological leader. Mm. There, oh, it's Ayatollah, isn't it? Which I can never spell. Um, the way I got that is I'm aware that there is a there is there are a series of strange words like a ya and a ma a m a h I want to say which are which are governesses. Um, so in fact, I, what I'm going to do before I look up those spellings, I need to solve the clue because I don't want to get help from the dictionary. I, I'm sure the answer is ayatollah, um, but I'm going to have to figure out exactly the spelling because I don't know it. And I think it has different spellings. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to be Ayatollah. I would say that is the spelling I, I'm going to look up. And I think that's Aya. Oh yeah, there we go. In India, a waiting maid or, or, or nursemaid. Also AIA. But I think I thought there was AMAH as well. There is. Look at that. So Amar. A native maidservant or child's nurse. Very similar meaning. Um, and a very similar spelling. It just has an M here rather than a Y. So we've got the ideological leader, the Ayatollah. We've got the governess, the Ayar, surrounding, holding, A. And then if, if a bell rings, it tolls. So that's, oh, that would give me my, my, my margarine spelling. That would give me an A here. What's this word? don't know. Uh, Harry. Uh, brought back. 
Oh, if you harry somebody, you n oh, it's it's Ganja. <laughs> okay, well that's that's very clever. Yeah, no, I, now I know now I can see the clue. So harry as a verb um, means to harass or to nag. So if we harry bought back is saying reverse the word nag, and then jam is literally the word jam which Mike has left and. I mentioned that Mike was the international radio code word uh, for the letter M. So it's literally saying, look at the word jam, take the M out, because Mike's left it. And that just gives us J-A. And ganja is a sort of a euphemism or, or just a synonym for pot, as in marijuana, I think. I'm not an expert on types of drugs, but let's have a look. Yeah, marijuana. Um... And obviously pot means marijuana. So, ah, so that's not rules then. Orders, ranks. Oh, ran Kansas. Is that what it's saying? <laughs> Prairie State must be Kansas. I'm sorry I didn't know that. Okay, was governor of. I thought it was going to be led, L-E-D. But if you ran something, you were the governor of it, weren't you? And then KS, I think, is uh, the US state of Kansas. So I'm not going to change ranks. So we've got to... We've got to look up KS and just check that I have got the state right. Yeah, that is Kansas. Um, orders being ranks of things. Margarine looks ever more likely. And yeah, what, another thing I'm seeing. So just stare at the letters in this grid. Do they look odd to you? Because they look odd to me. This J, this K, the Ys, the K here. I wouldn't be surprised if we find a Q in one of the answers and a Z. I wonder, and an X. I wonder if this is going to be a, a pangram. Um, we shall see. Let's try 15 down, where we have an N. Bird, run over, crossing motorway in city. Nuremberg? A grebe is a bird, isn't it? I never know how to spell that, but um, Nuremberg. Um and not spell say i think it, i think is it a grebe i couldn't couldn't tell you what it looks like i know there is a g r e b e is a bird um and in fact let's look at i'm not going to change that answer so i'm going to look it up grebe uh that i think that, that grebe i think that is i think i have said it properly a short winged almost tailless freshwater diving bird of the genus podiceps for those of you interested in such matters. So how am I getting that? Well, it's literally, it says run over. Well, I turned over the word run, which I mean, admittedly, I was more likely to do that because I had the N and the R in the clue, but th that seemed to be what was going on. And then I was thinking of a name of a city. Um, and then I thought of Nuremberg. So, so we've got bird, grebe, run over, and that's all crossing M for motorway, as in, you know, if you go on the M6, you sit in a tailback for a long time. But M is, is obviously the shortened form of motorway. Now, look, we get a, what's this going to be? By G, by George? Ah, it is. OK, so this is a funny one. So my is the definition here, as in if you said my, you'd be like, my goodness, by George. Um, I like clues like this because it, it's it's really quite difficult unless you've seen this sort of thing before to to read my aircraft from time to time so piloted and to, and to think that the definition is the word my it just seems ridiculous but it is um, aircraft from time to time so piloted is because George I think is the is the name for the autopilot system used on aircraft let's see if the dictionary justifies that uh, there we go George the automatic pilot of an aircraft in RAF slang I don't know why it's from time to time so oh, maybe it's because maybe it's just because the pilot turns it on and off or something I don't know so it only it's only used partly part of the time um, now we could use should we go to let's try this one now if this is an I for margarine then can we think of a word that fits? Um, not immediately, no. I really hope this isn't margarine. Do excellent. 
outside church night before festival that must be a night before a festival is the eve so that looks like it's going to end like this to me so do probably is the definition achieve yeah if you achieve something you do it so how does this work well if something is excellent we describe it as a1 a1 and that goes outside church well remember valid abbreviations for church that come up a lot in cryptic crosswords either ce the church of england or ch for church from maps so if we go to ch here we will see uh, hopefully church there it is but if i go to ce we'll also see we can see cerium uh, church of england so when you see church in a clue it's going to be one of those two things almost always ah so this isn't margarine what is it then <laughs> um spread marmalade oh why did i think of mar why did i think of margarine first simon marmalade okay so Paddington's favourite food. Let's see if we can understand why. So is it mare? Oh, malady. Yeah, lo lovely. Okay, so it's disease endlessly is a malady um, without its end, without its final Y. And mare was right for a calamitous experience as in a nightmare. Um, so we could try. Let's try the one with H in it. Okay, so I haven't, I haven't even finished reading the clue here. And I see lose with harpy playing. And that just, I can't immediately tell you why, but I know that's an anagram of Luz and Harpy. The word playing, I'm familiar with that as being an anagram indicator. So we saw ruin earlier. If something, if, if letters play around, they sort of frolic and they dance. And, that, and therefore that's telling us we need, it's telling us it might be an anagram. Harpy is such a strange word. Um, and maybe it's also because I don't know many short synonyms for harpies that probably the reason that word's in the clue is because it's needed for anagram fodder. So um, let's see if we can now solve the clue. Um, it's a rough spore, or maybe playing rough is the anagram. Maybe it's just a... Um, what is this then? sport or a rough sport beginning with h this is where you're all shouting at me the answer you all you've all seen it already haven't you and i haven't got it yet um oh simon you useless man <laughs> um what is it i would not i mean if this was countdown my conundrum skills have deserted me even having the first letter Oh, useless, useless individual. Um, I still haven't got it. What's wrong with me? Oh, I don't know. Let's put the letters in. Um, let's try and mix them up a bit. Uh, what have I, what have I not used? L, S, E. Now, is that going to give it to me? Horseplay. Oh, well, okay. Okay. All right. I rough. Okay. So rough sport horseplay. I was, I was trying to think of the names of games or sports like football. I wasn't thinking of horseplay. <laughs> um, but that that is the answer. Rough sport horseplay. So what's this? Earnest. Um, maybe serious. Earnest. Yeah, it's going to be earnest. Attention drawn to machine gun emplacement. Well, if you give someone attention you lend them your ear uh, and a machine gun emplacement is a nest so that's just earnest meaning serious actually somebody wrote to us didn't they um i had a very long email which i appreciated with some suggestions for how i should do these videos to sort of give you guys uh, a chance to solve the um solve the clues you see i've just looked at this clue i've solved this the moment i've looked at it um now 
this is a word okay this this is something i could never ever have instantly solved when i first got into cryptic crosswords no way i barely have been familiar with the word and yet now after a bit of experience this is a writing clue so let's let's try and understand how we can how this clue becomes a writing see welsh woman's delightful now i tell you this means delightful and there is a short synonym for the word see you might think of the words like i if you see something you you eye it you eye it up don't you that that is actually not the c that comes up in cryptic crosswords very often this is this is talking about a c as in a diocese a city and there is a short synonym three letters as in short city near cambridge um i think it's in cambridgeshire isn't it the um the city of ely and it comes up a lot so if you see ely here can we now get a word that means delightful out of that now, welsh woman i know is it i don't actually know how i even say it is it cyan um but uh, I know that I know that that is a Welsh woman's name. <laughs> it's funny how many things I know from cryptic crosswords, and I have no context to use them in real life or speech, so I don't know how to say them. Um, but anyway, Elysian, as in the Elysian fields. If something is delightful, it is Elysian. Um, and now, where should we go next? We've got a whole hodgepodge of stuff in the grid. Should we try six across? Plane. let's try it without any checking letters which is a ludicrous thing to do but we'll try uh, sailor coming into boozer finding shoe and I have got uh, have I got this mm, yes I have got this okay so here the, quite a lot of cryptic clues will have a word that does the duty of equals mathematically so imagine you had an equation a plus b equals c or c equals a plus b or something like that then linguistically one could express that as a plus b finds c or a plus b gives c so finding here is telling us that the first bit of the clue is wordplay and that will allow us to find the name of the answer, which is a type of shoe. So we're looking for the name of a shoe. Um, sailor. It's difficult, sailor, because it has a lot of short synonyms and a lot of abbreviations. The most common are AB for able seaman and OS for, I think, ordinary seaman. I might, yeah, I think it's ordinary seaman. Um, so one of those has to come into a boozer well if you're thinking of a boozer as a pub that's a good thought pub is a short synonym you might even think of words like bar another short synonym in i double n but there's also short synonyms for boozers as in people who booze and one of those is is the word sot s-o-t then if we put a b in sot we get sabot which is the name of a of a shoe so again a bit like elysian i mean um there's elysian there as the adjective but sabot is, is a, it's not a very commonly used word is it it's a crossword word and there it is a wooden shoe or clog and if we look up sot which is another word i don't think you see in speech very often um uh, someone stupefied by alcohol a habitual drunkard and a fool obscure so sabot's going to be right so what's this going to be cp or see me or shabby see me maybe view oh cd oh okay um so if you view something you see it double days limits i mean that's telling us look at the letters that limit the word double day that sort of bookend it and that's the d at the start and the y at the end and shabby is obviously a synonym for cd so this is probably trying or toying difficult so if something's trying it's difficult isn't it days ending in hertfordshire town well the hertfordshire town is tring we put the ending of the word day which is y in the middle of that and we get trying and that's the thing about the clues like eight down is they become 
absolutely straightforward once you have this many checking letters. So this looks like Baltimore without without having a port. It's going to be Baltimore. Engl Eng Indian dish is a Balti. Then seconds. If you have seconds, you have more, <laughs> as Oliver Twist will tell you. Or he tried. He tried to have more, didn't he? And then catch him. Trounce him, pounce him, pick him up and bounce him. Wait, before we take the lad to task, may I be so curious as to ask his name? Um, <laughs> Lionel Bart, you can't beat Lionel Bart. Um, now, let's go. 18 down, beginning with L. D, right, let, I haven't read the clue. I've seen diesel adulterated. Now, if you've been watching these videos for a while, what are you all thinking? Hopefully, it's an anagram of diesel. To include new, well, we should have learned by now that N is a valid abbreviation for new. So we're looking for an anagram of diesel to include new. And the whole thing is an oil source. And those of you who enjoy cricket will be familiar with linseed oil which you have to sort of you whack the ball into the front of the bat and then rub the linseed oil in it smells horrible um, but there we go linseed oil looks like it's the answer let's try 19 down sun sober perhaps up for some cheese stilton uh, it could be uh, it could be stilton I haven't, I haven't worked out why it is stilton Sun is uh, can be abbreviated to S. So if it was if it was Stilton, oh, not lit is sober. Yes, fair enough. Um, so lit, if, if someone's described as lit, I suppose in modern slang, lit doesn't lit mean that you're good at stuff. If someone was called lit, um, I think I think it means they're they're good at stuff. But I might be wrong about that. Not so good on my modern slang, <laughs> um, but lit in the old old words if someone was lit they would be drunk so if some if uh, someone was sober they would not be drunk and let, let's have a look um, at lit and see if we can see if we can see what's going on uh, where is it going to be then oh goodness this is it keeps Lit. I'm looking for lit as an uh, well lit. This is all about light, isn't it? Oh, it's vertical division of window in a crossword. <laughs> so yes, a light in a crossword is the is the answer. Um, the space in which the answer goes. I can't see it. it, it I mean, lit definitely <laughs> means drunk. Oh, there, there, there. Lit here drunk there's no there's no qualification that it's an old word either it's just or an old use of the word so stilton is right this looks like immerse now oh no immense i suppose huge immense mass seen twice in turbulent sen or sane so the river sane you might be thinking oh turbulent sane it's something to do with you know maelstroms or whirlpools no 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 turbulent sane is saying anagram the letters S E I N E. Include in that M twice because M is a valid abbreviation for mass. Um, as you've seen that in physics equations, e equals M C squared, for example. Um, and therefore, we've got um, double M in an anagram of. Whoops! If I could type, we would we would be able to just fill this one in. Um, let's try, where should we go next? We could try this one. Study. Okay. Can we think of short synonyms for study that we could use here? And a study, somewhere you study in your house, you could describe as a den. With current, current, V, v equals IR, would give us I. A framework I think is going to be a great and then a whole thing if you denigrate something you rubbish it so I think denigrate is going to be the answer there and then the, I don't know what this one is Arkwright Noah 
Norma, Norma Jean, goodbye Norma Jean. Though I never knew you at all. Um, yeah, so Arkwright is not is not referring to. Was was the guy in Open? Oh, oh you've been so. Oh, uh, Arkwright. I want to say Ronnie Barker. For some reason, that rings the bell with Arkwright in my in my brain. But Arkwright, literally the person who built the Ark in the Bible, was Noah, and it says almost. Arkwright, so most of Noah, reserving, so that means keeping, including, uh, an abbreviation for room, RM, and the name of a girl, Norma. And this looks like error now, doesn't it? Oh, maybe. No, that's a mistake, so it's going to be er error. Wear armor occasionally. Okay, we see this sometimes. Words like occasionally, they're telling us to take the occasional letters out of a string. So if you look at the even numbered letters in the phrase wear armor, you can see spelt out E-R-R-O-R. -R -R. So that's again fairly, it's a fairly kind crossword this. It's quite unusual, especially on the Fridays, to have lots of um, so many checking letters so early. I feel I feel we've been blessed today on our birthday edition. Right, let's try 20 down. We'll try this without any checking letters. So on boat, British crewman in a delta. Okay, well I can do this. So if you're not used to the if you're if this is a new clue, if this is one of your first viewings of a cryptic crossword video, have a think to yourself. What do you think the definition is in this clue? Remember, the definition is almost always at the start or the end of the clue. And one way to hone in, I mean, it's, it's not that easy to do this because, again, in could be a word that's, that's doing the duty of equals. So you could have a blum, 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 in monkey. <laughs> and that would mean do a whole load of stuff um, because that's how you, how you could create um, a word that means monkey. But in can also be a something that indicates position and anything that indicates position you should be thinking about um, wordplay. Now it's difficult, this is a down clue. So on boat could be saying on a word for boat, so put a word for boat at the bottom of this clue and on top of it put words or abbreviations for British crewman. So that, that would be a legitimate reading of the clue. But in a delta, what do we know about delta? Well, there are short synonyms for river deltas, but also delta is the letter D, isn't it, from the Greek alphabet? So in a D is how that could read. Well, if, if it was if it was telling us to put something in A and D, and therefore the other side of the clue would mean be the definition on boat, well, now all of a sudden, something that could have been difficult isn't. If you're on a boat, you are aboard the boat. British is B, and a crewman is an oar, O-A-R, as in that's what they do. Um, so that's going to be right, and we could, let's try that one first. Blessing, boon. To have well in African country. Well, wow. okay. Well, the African country here seems to me it's going to have to be Benin. And therefore, I think this is this is a difficult word. I think it's Benison. Again, a word <laughs> that I only know from cryptic crosswords. And as I say that, I'm not even sure. I'm not certain it's a word. I think it is a word. Um, and I think it's supported by the wordplay. Uh, in speech, if you said well... It often does the duty of saying so. Um, so, benison is what I think this is, and I think a benison is a blessing. Probably, it's probably got some religious connotation. I'm not going to change it. Am I? Oh my! No, I will look that up at the end because I just want to check that there is an S at the start of twenty-two down. Let's try twenty-five across. Principle. I'm thinking arch, as in the main thing. The arch enemy, um, the principal enemy might be the arch enemy. Pr principal location, 
not started by court design architect must be right designer and the way i sort of honed in on that was court here court can be ct so i was thinking it might end in that so architect oh ah architect i think is right so principal arch location is a site s-i-t-e that's not started so it loses its s and we add that to ct and we get the name of the designer so we'll try this one now with water drained away dried oh dr okay it, it, it is well it's dry if water with water drained away would describe something that was dry a notice is an advert an advert often is abbreviated to add and a dryad is a water spirit i think that's just i mean it's certainly a spirit i think it's a water spirit oh no it's a wood nymph okay um but certainly some sort of spirit so dryad's going to be right there and then we've only got this one where i'm hoping the s will be that's interesting we see current again for i we saw it here didn't we and here it's appearing as the, the same it's just the same word with the same abbreviation don't often see that in times crosswords current should be introduced to belted um so we need a four letter word for belted and the whole thing means um saw s-a-w and saw is one of those awkward words where it could be a noun or it could be a verb it could be the past tense of c couldn't it or it could be a saw as in something that is you know the tooth saw that you use for cutting up wood um so hopefully some of you will have thought of the answer spied if you spied something you saw it and sped so belted here is not belted as in punched it's belted as, as in went very quickly and if you went very quickly you sped somewhere that does seem to support benison so we're now i think uh now i am prepared to look that up benison there we go a benediction or blessing doesn't say it's from a sort of church context but i imagine that's where it comes from um and we filled the puzzle now we didn't get z's x's or uh, did we get anything any it certainly didn't get any cues that i noticed so but a nice puzzle and actually a puzzle that i think ah no i'm wrong i'm wrong i was going to say it's a nice puzzle if you're new to cryptic crosswords i don't think this is a nice puzzle if you're new to cryptic crosswords i think that it's a nice puzzle if you're experienced at cryptic crosswords if you're experienced you can do this puzzle very fast because elysian sabot they're just write-ins uh lissom is a write-in um and i'm very conscious of the fact that if you are not uh if you are not honed into the arcane <laughs> arcane methods and words of cryptic crosswords these are not easy answers to get at all um and i you know i wonder how easy it would have been to solve say the top right hand corner if you didn't have all the checking letters and they might become very much more difficult um but anyway i hope that was cool i hope that was interesting do let me know in the comments how you got on enjoy the comments especially when they're kind um celebrate the birthday with us thank you for watching give the video a like maybe or subscribe we'd appreciate it and we'll be back later with a, another edition of cracking the cryptic Oh, I didn't press. I didn't haven't check, checked. I'm right. That's 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 an absolute shank. It's going to be wrong now. No, it's right. There we go. It's right. That's all good. See ya.